and welcome. This is Perpetual Fitness Training. My name is Holly and I'm going to be your instructor today. All right, for this spotlight workout, we're gonna work on those glutes. This is one that I get requests for all the time, especially as summer starts approaching. So I wanted to make sure that we got this spotlight in. All you really need is a bench and just some weights and uh, we'll take you through this. It's gonna be challenging, but it'll be worth it and it's very effective. So let's go ahead and get started. Right before we begin, I want to remind you on all of these spotlight workouts, please make sure that you're warmed up first. There is no warm up and there's really just a little bit of stretching at the end. So make sure you take care of yourself both at the beginning and the end. You're warmed up and then if you need more stretching time, please go ahead and take it because we really just do a quick stretch. Okay, we're gonna start by doing 50 seconds of work with a 10 second break. We're going to do that same move twice in a row before we move on. This will be about 16 minutes long and then that's it. So it really gets nice and concentrated. Um, into that muscle group. It is it is challenging, but again, if you can only do one, do one. If you can only do it for you know half of the time, then that's great. Listen to your body. The more you do this, the stronger you get, the easier it will become. All right, let's go ahead and begin. We're gonna start with just squats. So I'm not gonna go too, too heavy. I'm gonna use this kind of a little bit as a warm up for me um, with the squat move. I am going to use my bent because I do want to get nice and low. I just finished a spinning session, so my legs are definitely warmed up. I just want to take them through that range of motion before we hit the second move, which is a bit more challenging. All right, press through the heels, squeeze your glutes at the top. You're not squeezing the knees. Squeeze your glutes instead, pushing those hips forward, keeping that tummy nice and tight. All right, when you come up, see if you can lift that heart and squeeze up through the chest as well. Just getting some good posture. All right, so these are legs. We are gonna get that heart rate up. It's a big muscle, so it's gonna bring our heart rate up a little bit. All right, little break, shake it out. We're gonna do that again. So maybe this time, if you couldn't touch the bench before, see if maybe on the second round, you can get a little bit lower. Here we go. Press through those heels. Squeeze your glutes. Use that breath. Now, if you don't have a chair or a bench behind you, that's fine. I just want you to go as low as you can. You can also do these with a stability ball along the wall. That is also a challenge and it's a bit easier on the knees too if you're having a, an off day on your knees. Squeeze, squeeze those glutes at the top. This is what really finishes off the glute muscles is that squeeze at the top. Good, shake it out. All right, so for this next one, it's the same thing, but when we get down there, we're gonna do a double tap on your chair or bench or a pulse, and then you're gonna come right back up again. Here we go, low as you can go, double tap, press through the heels, squeeze. Low as you can go, double tap, squeeze. Double tap, squeeze, whoo! This definitely gets down there. This gets into that muscle. Now, of course, because we're in a squat, we're working other muscles as well in those legs. That never hurt anybody. Getting those legs built up, getting ready for spring and summer. Squeeze. 14 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, a little break, shake it up. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Lighten up the weights if you need to. You don't have to use weights. Here we go. Double tap and squeeze. Double tap, press through those heels. Press, press, press. Squeeze. Breathe. Twenty. 
20 seconds. Down to 10. Moving on, we're gonna do some bench dips. So you'll definitely want uh, something to be able to do a glute lift off of. So I have this bench here. You can use weights. You do not have to. Upper body is on the bench. Head is supported. Drop down, squeeze up. Now this one is going to be a lot of glutes. You're also gonna feel it a little into that low back. Squeeze, again, this is the squeeze that matters. Press those hips up toward the ceiling. Drop, squeeze, pushing through those heels. Just hold it for a second or two. Really get that benefit into that glute. If you have a weight, make sure you're holding on to it. Little break, and we're doing it again. Woo. All right, begin. Come down, squeeze. If you are using a bench or stool, make sure, A, that it's padded, but also that you're not scooting along. This really does make it a lot harder. You want what you're using to be stable. So I know a lot of my at-home clients use couches. Uh, that's a great, that's a great thing to use. Or like an ottoman. That's also used a lot. Squeeze. Ten seconds. <laughs> my glutes are already so tired. I'm feeling them. Oh, of course, it didn't help that I did spinning right before this. All right, so next up, we're doing the same thing, but we're doing it one-legged. So the other ankle goes over. Drop down, squeeze up. Your range of motion will probably be a little less here. Just do the best you can. Press. And on this one, we're going to do right, left, right, left. So instead of doing right, right, left, left. Just because I found when I did it that way, it really was almost too difficult. It was really tough to get through. So I would say if you want a challenge, when I switch to my left, stay on your right, and then do two lefts on the other side. Back to back. Squeeze up. And I want you to lift those hips higher than you think you can. One more. Ooh, I can tell I'm fatigued. I'm really struggling to get that leg up there. All right, here we go. So I'm switching to my left. You can stay with that right. But I got a more effective workout by switching because I was able to give it a bit of a rest so that my form was better for that second round. Oh, that was, that was a horrible lift your hip, Holly. <laughs> there we go. Just give it your full effort. Really squeeze into those glutes. A little more, come on. We got this. And break. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my right. Okay, here we go. Plant that foot with the hips, get that other ankle over, drop and lift, pressing through that right heel. Ooh. We're all gonna have some tight buns after this one. And exhale, lift. 
Make sure you really stretch after this. We're just gonna do a little mini stretch. But if you need to, go back and hold the stretches longer. I don't want you to get too sore tomorrow. All right, we have 10 seconds. And switch. All right, this is the last side with this one. But we are not done yet. <laughs> All right, here we go. But we're getting close. We're getting close. Squeeze. Are we halfway? Oh, yeah. See, we're over halfway. So if it bothers your neck to bring your head up, you can keep that head down as you lift up and down, especially because we're really just focusing on the press up. So you'll see me kind of do a combo of it as my neck gets tired. Just don't feel like you're straining. Press up, squeeze, squeeze that glute. Four, three, two, lift. Ugh. Okay, next up, pulsing. <laughs> I can hear, I can hear the sides of disgust. Lift up. All right, when you're ready, pulse, pulse, pulse. It's just a little drop of the hip and then squeezing through the glute. Press through those heels. You are gonna feel the hamstring. Just breathe. We're keeping that tummy nice and tight, of course. You may be feeling that low back. I'm just now starting to feel that low back. Just keep those glutes squeezed, those little presses. Stay relaxed through that upper body best you can. Sing along to your music. Think of something else. And a little break. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Woo. All right, we have that one more time. We got this. And begin. Lift and pulse, pulse, pulse. All right, I want you to smile if you're feeling that burn. Yes. That was the goal, right? Make yourself stronger. Breathe, breathe. If you need a break, take it. Keep pushing through those heels. Keeping that tummy tight. Come on, you got this. I know it's burning. I want you to stay with me as long as you can through that burn. This is what's making all the difference in that glute, making it stronger, sleeker, slimmer. And take it down. Okay, we gotta move quickly to this next one. Oh, we're gonna come up into tabletop. All right, these are the last two. So if you would like to, place a weight behind that right knee, flex that foot up and down. If you don't want the weight, that's just fine. I want you to think about the core so you're not dropping your belly and arching your back, go rounding, right? You're right in neutral. Tummy is tight. You're squeezing that glute. We're not lifting through the back to lift that leg. Again, if you don't want the weight, that's fine. The foot should be flexed though, pressing the foot toward the ceiling. Now in this one, we are gonna do right, right, left, left. So if you need to modify and make this a little easier, on the second round, instead of staying with the right leg, I want you to switch to the left. You have 10 seconds. <sighs> breathe, breathe. <sighs> Excellent. Oh, little break. Maybe this time on this round, you take that weight off. That's fine. <sighs> All right, flex that foot. Lock that weight in, up and down. Keeping that tummy tight, not using that back at all. You're pressing through the shoulders away from the floor, lining up the wrist and shoulder, the knee and hip. You may start to feel that stabilizing hip, that left hip. That's okay, right? 
Just watch that back, especially into that low back, because as you start to feel it, you'll kind of drop that belly. Keep it nice and tight. Tailbone slightly tucked, just using that glute. All right, guys, 14 seconds. This is what makes all the difference in the world. Even if you have to slow the rep down, come on, five, four, three, two, give me just one more. Oh, switch to that other side. Woo! Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Here we go. Up and hover. So when you're bringing that knee down, you want to try to hover the knee. But a modifier is to tap the knee down. That will take pressure off that muscle and give you just a little micro break. So that is a way to modify. If it bothers your wrists, come up to those fists. Or you can also do this with your hands on weights, if you prefer that. For anybody that has, especially purple tunnel, I suffer with that as well. So I've learned to make adjustments. Squeeze the glute, tummy tight. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, y'all, this is the last one, the last one. And then you can stop cussing at me. <laughs> three, two, one, here we go. Up and down. Hovering if you can, shoulders relaxed but pressing away from the floor. So we're staying strong through the upper body. Just get that leg as high as you can. If you need to take a break, sit back in child's pose. That will also give your low back a little break. I'm just going to readjust this weight. Sitting on that tendon. There we go. All right, guys, 15 seconds. This makes all the difference. These last 10, stay with me. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more, give me one more. Oh, excellent. All right, take that weight, put it off to the side, just straighten out that leg for a second, counter stretch. And then when you're ready, sit back in child's pose and just release it down. Oh, this is, knee is tight, so I'm just gonna adjust a little bit. And let's go ahead and come on up. I do wanna stretch out that low back. So I just want you to reach those hands out and just drop that chest and let that head fall and just take some pressure off that low back. And go ahead and come back up. Tabletop, drop your belly, look up, big inhale. Exhale, tuck around. This will feel good for your spine. Inhale, drop. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. And back to the center. All right, let's go ahead and flip over onto our back. Once you're down there, bring the knees into the chest. You can bring that head up and just stretch. And then gently take that head down. I want you to hold the right leg in. Extend that left leg out. It comes all the way to the floor as you pull that leg in. Now, if that bothers your knee, you're going to grab your thigh instead of your shin. Shoulders down and just hold it in. Oh, stretching out that glute. Woo! All right, I like that so much. Let's do it to the other side. Bring that leg in, extend out, shoulders relax, pull it in. Oh, it just feels so good to stretch it out. All right, if you need more time stretching, I want you to take it. Press pause and just stretch a little more, maybe stretch into those hamstrings. Whatever you need to do, a great hamstring stretch is right here. Whatever you need to do, whatever feels good for you, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you want to continue to see videos like this, hit subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. I welcome your feedback, and I want you to have a blessed day. Thank you.